Hi, my name is Nathan Bird. I'm Jolene Bird. We are the parents of four wonderful children. Our oldest, Noah, is 12. Uh, our daughter, Charlotte, is 10. Our uh, son, Graham, is 7. And Donovan uh, is 5 years old. Spring of 2016, we first moved to Michigan from Ohio. And about six months after that, um, there started being little nudges. Um, Facebook posts, um, little things like that that just kind of like just caught me. I just kept rereading them and I was touched by them. And then at Christmas time, there was a uh, Detroit News um, story about a couple that had adopted like 10 kids. And I was just really touched by it. Um, I was on the treadmill in the basement and I was actually listening to All the Poor and Powerless. I'm just kind of stuck on this song and I just experienced the Holy Spirit like I've never experienced Him before. I just got so hot and I was sweating and then I was crying and I just kept seeing all these images and flashes of children that I'd never before seen. Um, and so I know they were put there by God. And I just knew in my heart, wow, like God is telling us to, to adopt. So I was eating cheese and she came up and she turned the corner and I asked, I said, what happened in the basement? Cause she looked so, so energized. Um, and, and her response was, I think we should adopt a child from foster care. You know, so I was like, okay, so what happened in the basement? And it was very uh, obvious to me that she experienced something very real from God, um, a word that we uh, hadn't really heard before for us, but something that was um, undeniable. So we had a couple minutes worth of conversation and uh, I was on board right away. Um, we, we're, we think that if God is leading you to do something, it's best to do it. And so we didn't waste any time getting started. And that timing is actually important um, because Donovan was born like two weeks um, after that time. By the end of that night, we had uh, identified an adoption agency on, online that was located in Troy. And so we downloaded forms. Um, we were researching what it takes to be approved to adopt. It was probably a couple weeks later, we were having our first real conversation with the adoption agency. And that started a process that lasted for about a year. Um, that's about how long it took from the time we decided we wanted to do this to the time that we were approved to adopt. So as the process was winding up, we were notified that we were approved to adopt. We were very excited about that, but they had warned us that it was gonna probably take a while to be matched, uh, but it wasn't long at all. Um, it was just actually maybe a month or so after we were approved to adopt, we got the phone call that there was a baby um, that the uh, social workers thought might be a really good fit for our family. And we were uh, thrown by that a little bit. We were kind of through the baby phase with our other <laughs> children, and we thought we were going to get maybe a four, five, six-year-old, something like that. But the more we talked about it, the more excited we got uh, because we realized that, you know, he would only know us. Um, the, the, some of the traumatic things that happened early on in his life would, would not be anything that was tied to us. And so we thought that that might be a really good fit. And one of the things that was interesting is you go through this process and you're, like obsessing over what future kid will be ours. And uh, when Jolene had that experience on the treadmill that we mentioned earlier, one of the things she told me was, she said, you know, I really see this vision of a, of a little boy and he's got really big cheeks. And I remember saying like, hey, don't get real specific. We don't know what's gonna happen or how this is gonna work out. And so we're standing at the computer when we found out that this was a, a possible match for us. And then the picture popped up, which was, him. Um, and so if you see here in the cheek region, um, that is definitely uh, fitted what, what Jolene said she saw. So we saw that picture and kind of stepped back a little bit and said, okay, that's, that's the child God has in mind for us. And uh, from there on out, um, we, we introduced, we got to meet him and the kids got to meet him. It really was as simple as, hey, there's this little boy and he needs a home and he needs a family and we're thinking about adding him to ours. And they're like, yeah, game, game on. And they were so, they came to meet him and they were so sweet. And, you know, thinking about it gets me emotional because it was really, really sweet. You know, my six-year-old daughter in the back seat, just holding his hand on the car ride, you know, it was like an hour and a half back and forth. And we had to do these weekly visits and it was just, it was awful. You know, you had him for a weekend and, and you had to send him back and you knew he was going to be yours, but the process um, can feel really long. Um, but the kids were even to this day, they've never said a negative word. It is, it is really no different than had we gotten pregnant and had a baby the old fashioned way. Um, they just, they're amazing. And it's, it's really a vision of God um, in our kids. Yeah, our family would, would not 
wouldn't have been complete without the adoption and we didn't know that you know a year before but it was really awesome and you know one of the things we're happy about is that it's it's given us an opportunity for our children to see us doing something that God led us to do and so we hope that as they think about that as they grow up you know whatever he puts on their heart whatever his will is for their life uh, that our example will serve them well um, as they do what they're called to do. Some of the joys I guess that we've experienced you know the the entire the process is kind of long, but the the finalization hearing, that was one of the best days of my life. I mean, just a perfect day start to finish of um, having a bunch of families surrounding us and really bringing him into our family legally. Um, and the courts do a really good job to make that a really, really special day. We actually realized this morning, that's four, it was four years ago today that we had that finalization <laughs> yeah. hearing where he became Donovan Bird, which yeah, was... like uh, Donovan Day. Donovan Day, yeah, it was a great day. We had a courtroom full of grandparents and cousins and aunts and uncles and, yeah, definitely a special day. And, you know, the joys are the same joys you have with, with any other child that's part of your life. You know, we get to watch them grow. We get to watch them uh, learn things. Uh, we get to watch them interact with uh, his siblings and, and see how how they communicate with each other and see him learn from our children and see our children learn things from him. Um, mm -hmm. So yeah, the joys have been, have been fantastic. Um, and it's just a very good feeling of contentment knowing that this is what was supposed to happen all along, uh, both for us and for him. One of the things I like to tell people because a few times when we were in the early stages, people would like pull me aside and they'd say, how could you have afforded this? Like an adoption and you have, <laughs> you have three other kids, how did you afford this? And their mind is blown when I say it cost us about $200. That's, that's the whole expense. There was yeah. some charges related to legal fees, um, and that was it. When you adopt from the foster care system, it is not expensive. Um, you know, we'll have, we'll have things we talk about as he gets older, you know, how, how this came to be, um, why he's with us. And so we're hoping and praying that we can handle those conversations appropriately when they happen. Uh, but we trust that we're doing the right thing, and God will help mm -hmm. us when we need to have those conversations. I would say that, you know, if God, if God has put something on your heart, in my experience, God was not subtle about <laughs> showing me what he wanted um, us to do, but I would just encourage you, just take the first step. I mean, that's kind of what we did. We thought, well, what does it hurt? We can't even, we can't even think about adopting until we've had a home study and gone to the classes and done all those things. And so taking that first step, um, finding an agency that you like and in doing that, I would I would highly encourage because you do you learn so much and it gives you the confidence to be like yeah you know I, I can do that. Our story is really, is really one of God taking perfectly normal ordinary people and giving them what they need every step along the way. Yeah, the need is great. I mean, there's hundreds of kids in the foster care system. There's obviously hundreds of babies born every year that need to find a home. And so, you know, we know that not everybody's going to be called to foster or adopt, but. I think that there are a lot of people who have kind of felt a God-given nudge maybe to do this and they've been hesitant. And so if there's anybody in our church who feels that way, talk to us. We'd love to share our experiences with you. We'd love to help if we can, maybe connect you with some of the same organizations that helped us through the process. But, you know, there are, are challenges with the process, but honestly, it's everything's worth it in the end when you meet that child that uh, was destined to be with you. So I would just encourage people to uh, move forward if you really feel like this has been put on your heart. Um, I can't imagine what would have happened. I, I can't imagine us not, not doing this. I mean, I can't imagine our life without Donovan. Um, and I can't imagine that feeling I would have had if that night she shared her, her epiphany with me, if I would have said, now nah, let's not do that. It, it would, nothing would have been right. So, you know, if God's asking you to do this, definitely do it. And there's lots of people who will help you through the process. And it's such a wonderful way to live out, you know, our Christian faith. You know, we're all adopted into God's kingdom. We're all God's children. and. That, that has been one of the best parts is being able to just have on display that we've adopted this child and be hopefully a model for people and be like, oh, you know, just the, in the same way that I always admired families that you could tell were biracial and they were mixed and they had adoptive kids and biological kids and it's beautiful. It's such an amazing thing for our children to see and for us to model um, as Christians to really live out our faith in that way.